Mr. Speaker, first I'd like to thank my colleague and friend, Congresswoman Plaskett, for leading tonight's Congressional Black Caucus Special Order Hour. First, and certainly fitting to tonight's topic on mental health, I would like to salute the life and legacy of a giant in the healthcare industry who passed on November the 10th, Bernard Tyson, President and CEO of Kaiser Permanente and friend. Just this year, Congresswoman, he was talking to the editor-in-chief of Fortune magazine about lessons learned and lessons that were worth remembering, and now he has left them behind. And those lessons were about mental health. He was talking about in this health care system, we have a system of health care for the body and for the mind. And he had integrated both into his system, and he had done it in a seamless and in a way that did not have stigma. So tonight, I say rest in peace, rest in positive power in health care, my friend. But also... Congresswoman, the Congressional Black Caucus is coming together tonight, as you have said, and as you powerfully lead us to elevate the conversation about mental health in the African-American community. Millions of adults and children are impacted by mental health conditions each year, including depression, schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, post-trauma stress, and anxiety. For too long in our country, there was a stigma associated with mental health, especially in our community, the African-American community. According to the United States Department of Health and Human Services Offices of Minority Health, just in 2017, suicide was the second leading cause of death for African Americans between the ages of 15 and 24. Additionally, the death rate for suicide for black men was four times greater than for African American women in 2017. But we are encouraged, encouraged to see more influencers such as Jay-Z and the Breakfast Club Breakfast Club host Charlemagne speak out about mental health disparities in the black community. But as you are leading us tonight in saying, more must be done. The federal government has a moral obligation to invest more resources into mental health services. I thank you for your leadership. I thank you for being a voice for us on this topic, and I yield back. Thank you so much for your admonition.